is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we have another episode of wwe action figure surgery and today's episode is number wait what number is this again come on trey i told you you can't be doing this you gotta be organized you gotta remember the series number now oh, what's it matter people steal my content anyways anyways guys today's episode is episode number 23 we got jordan year in this hoe it is michael jordan time not lebron james this is this is michael jordan's number right here number 23 we got some uh, nice little swips and swappages just to do today, but they're actually pretty basic. I feel like there was one more that I wanted to add in here, but I, I couldn't. I had a mind fart, woke up late. I mean, it's already later, but um, I, I think you guys will enjoy this episode regardless. I think it's going to be some epic swaps. I just, it's pretty stupid because uh, I can't remember the other swap that I was going to put in here. I, it was It was one more. But I can't remember it, and now I'm going to fail. You're a failure, man. Nah, bro, we got this. We can we can pull it to a good episode, man. All right, let's hit it. Today we got some epic swappages, guys, but they are basic, like I said. I mean, let's let's go ahead and get into it because they really are simple, but they're very nice. I think they're very very nice. Starting off first, we have the GameStop exclusive Destroyer Samoa Joe. Remember, you guys remember this figure? You can get it for about eight cents and some lint out of your belly button nowadays. But here is Samoa Joseph. We're gonna do an epic Samoa Joseph swap. We have the new Elite. 64 Samoa Joe. I had an extra one, so I figured why not go ahead and swap my yellow one and switch the arms and head scan. So we're going to switch these arms and the head, this beautiful Samoan Joe head, over to the yellow version. I think it'll make it look a lot better. I think it'll look beautiful. And now that I'm looking at this, am I insane? I don't know. Maybe I am insane. I don't know. Just looking at it for a split second, I thought the torso on the new one may have been a little longer but probably not. Anyways, we're going to head swap and arm swap these. I think that'll make the yellow Samoa Joe look a lot better. Since I already have a red Joe that looks like this, we're going to do that swap. The next swap that we have, we uh, you guys know that I got this Battle Pack Authority Triple H yesterday um, in a package from Wolf Signer. So we're going to take that head skin off and we're going to put the bearded head skin on there. I think that'll make that look a lot better. It'll be like an updated Triple H instead of a 2014 Triple H. So we're going to put the bearded baldish head skin over here and I think that'll make that look a lot better. And and another thing that I need to do with this figure is fix the loose waist with the super glue tactic or the, the crazy glue tactic. I'll need to do that to this figure as well as the Undertaker, that fidget spinner, spinner Undertaker that we took a look at. But we're going to be head swapping these as well. So two basic head swaps. And then we have this Carl Anderson. And I borrowed this fix up out of my boy Balor Figs UK. If you guys don't know him, all of my UK buddies, I'm sure you guys know who he is. He is, a, he is an underrated YouTuber, great pick fetter. But, um... We have this Carl Anderson. We're going to be switching these Brodus Clay. I think that's what they are. Brodus Clay Elite 25 or Brodus Clay Elite whatever. Like, nobody remembers the Brodus Clay. Like, Brodus Clay? The Funkadactyls, bro? I don't even want to give him screen time right now. Let's just move on. Brodus Clay boots. We're going to put these boots over on this Carl Anderson. And he put it in his pick fed and it looks absolutely fire. So I was like, dude, I need to do that to one of my Carl Andersons. Even though Carl Anderson is totally AEW bound. Let's be real. He, he's Audi 5000, man. And he, him and Luke Gallows, they need to get the hell out of there. Unless they book him with Balor since they switched over to SmackDown, or since Balor switched over to SmackDown Live, then, I mean, the, there's no reason to even stay. But those are really simple swaps. And I've already switched this one because I had to film for the Rumble. But this is what my boy Marty Skrull is going to look like for the Royal Rumble. We got the Marty Skrull right here. He's got the Revolutionary Championship. He's got all the stuff going on. If you guys remember this figure, the lower legs were Miz, Elite. I don't remember the series. Elite something. They had the uh, the tan lower legs with the black kick pads. The umbrella continued down. Well, it made the figure, like, I don't know why. The, those legs were really old from a really old figure. And so they, like, he, like, leaned forward and his legs were, like, bent inward. Like, they went in and out. It's like he was really bow-legged. And it made him look weird and I didn't like it. So what I did was I came in with, I think it's the Hall of Champions Eddie Guerrero. I took a Hall of Champions Eddie Guerrero figure, you know, the WCW attire with the white lower, uh, the white... Uh, attire. I took the lower legs from that, stuck that over here, and then I took some extra Sami Zayn boots. And I like this way more. It makes it more accurate in height, too. So he just looks fresh now. I love the way this Marty looks. He's funner to pose around, and he still has all his graphics and stuff on the trunk. So really, probably one of my favorite figures now in my collection uh, is this fix-up. I hate that I didn't add it to this video, but I, I figured I'd show you guys anyway because I had to knock that out so that I could go ahead and film. I didn't want to wait until filming the action figure surgery. But anyways, guys, we've been rambling. We've 
have been doing some stuff. So now that we've covered everything, let's go ahead and get started on our swaps. We'll, sw we'll start off with Carl Anderson, then we'll move on to Samoa Joseph, then we'll do Triple A. It doesn't matter the order, right? We're not doing anything hectic or crazy today. So let's go ahead and hit it. As you guys know, we have the trusty white hair dryer already in work. I got it plugged in here. I had to, you guys don't even understand the struggle I'm going through. To record videos, I have to carry all my lamps from the arena in the dining room all the way in here. So every day, every day I have to go flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. Even if, for, if it's for like the 20 minutes that I can film the pick fed or the five seconds that I can film the pick fed, I have to switch it back and forth just so I can get those in. And these lamps are kind of heavy and it, I, I struggle for you guys. Please love me. But let's go ahead and switch these boots. Oh, yeah. Would you just stay in place, you piece of... All right, guys, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and take out Machine Gun Anderson right here. Still not good enough. Son of a bitch. We're going to put you here, and we're going to leave you there, and we're going to use this wheelchair, and we're going to turn that sideways, and we're going to hook it right here, and you're not going to go effing anywhere. ready now whore all right let's try it machine gun anderson left boot got it right boot got it left boot of the ultimate dragon weirdy create a character got it right boot got it now we're gonna switch them should be relatively easy i'm gonna have to touch up these boots anyway they have like some chippage on them i don't know what uh or how that came about but we'll take a look at him at the end we're also gonna put the black boots over on the uh the creator wrestler right here just because i want to see what it looks like first of all second of all don't judge me i can do whatever i want all right got that so ultimate dragon and machine gun anderson are completely ready now we can move on to our next segment of the video which will be switching the Samoan Joseph head and arms and we're going to take the destroyer we're going to put his arms up like this and wave them like they just don't care and then we're going to take our Elite 54 do the exact same thing because I want the interchangeable hands and I like the pendant on elbow pad I just I just like it man because I do all right going to put the wheelchair in place guys just to uh just to you know keep it there and we're we're going to roll with it let's go ahead three two one All right, guys, I don't know how well this is going to do, but we're going to try it anyway. Yeah, freaking, you're so stupid, Brad. You thought that would be good enough? Maybe the left arm. Yeah, I got the left arm. Let's see if this guy's good. Left arm. F and F. All right, so we got the left arms, even though they really didn't even need to be switched. I mean, they look identical. So you're a stupid idiot moron for that. What about his head? Okay, his head's, his head's definitely ready. What about this one? Got a mighty man. All right, what we're uh, all right. What we're gonna do is, I guess we're gonna have to put this strategically, like that and like that. So sorry for wasting you guys' time. That was a waste of a waste of. Let's try this again, shall we? All right, let's try this again, shall we? Uh, put this over here. Probably should have done the head first, you stupid idiot moron. All right, got that. Go ahead and plop it onto the Samoan Joe yellow version. Got that. Go ahead and take off the other arm. Got to switch that elbow pad arm because that's very important to me. Got that. Now put this over here. Now the yellow one's done. I could I could literally give a crap about the red one because I have so many versions of that, but the yellow Samoan Joe is Dunsies. Now, uh, I guess we can go, let's just go ahead and pop this on here because, you know, it'll bother me. I don't like just having loose fodder parts, even though, Trey, you have like 864 fodder boxes full of fodder. Yeah, but that's not by choice, Brad. If I could, if I could make customs out of all of it, I would, but it's good to save parts so that you can use them in the future for other fix-ups, other surgery episodes. I honestly need to go through there and make sure there's no fix-ups that pop in my brain because I'm constantly thinking of fix-ups and swappages and swippages because uh, that's what the creative mind 
lines do, man. I'm, I'm constantly thinking them. So that's my favorite part of the hobby is taking two figures and uh, mixing parts together. That's just the, that's so epic, man. When you can take just two figures, put them together, and fix them. Now we got Triple H sort of ear to ear there. You know, like you just used to lay with your best friend in the park looking up the stars. You know, that's a good movie cover. Like if I took a camera, went right here, took a picture down. Yeah, you guys get what I'm saying. Anyways, let, let's hit it. All right, the game should be ready. Taking his head, popping it off. Taking the other ones, pop, pop, it, pop. Got it. All right, now we'll go ahead and pop the bearded head skin up here, giving us that updated NXT look, hopefully. You know, we're supposed to get that basic in the NXT line for Target exclusive. It was like a tan suit. He was looking fresh. He had the bearded head skin. And that would have been an easier figure to swap and, and you know, have a nice little... I don't think it would have had the same articulation as this one because this one is like... I think this figure is super underrated. But, but um, God, Lee, why does he have no neck? Is that... We'll take a look at it at the end if it looks stupid. Ah, uh, jeez. Eh, maybe it doesn't look stupid. I'll let you guys be the judge. Anyways, uh, I guess we could pop this over here. I need more Elite 60 Triple H's for that head scan to do different fix-ups, but that figure is actually kind of uh, hard to find, first of all, unless you check GameStop, maybe, and uh, maybe something else. But that is it for all the swatches, guys. Now we can take a look at everything we've done here today on the Jordan episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, guys, so here is everything that we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Surgery. Guys, first of all, we have the Elite Series 60 Triple H with the Battle Pack head scan. Nobody, nobody cares about this guy. Let's be real. Let's just get him out of there. It's a nice swap, but we got 162 Triple H Elites that look the exact same. Next up, we have the Elite 43 Samoan Joe. Literally, this is exactly what Elite 43 Samoan Joe looks like, except the leg is not molded in red. It has the uh, red over the black, and it chips all the time, so everybody's seen this. Next up, we have the Ultimo Dragon Creator Wrestler fix-up thing that, uh, looks pretty nice except this skin tone doesn't match and now he has black boots kind of looks pretty fresh it matches the sleeve uh the white boots did look better but you know it's not a bad figure at all and uh maybe we can use this guy down the line somewhere or something but here are the main event players of this video here today guys here is the carl anderson machine gun right here looking absolutely fire. I love the white boots with the black tips. Again, huge shout out to Ballard Figs UK for that Carl Anderson swap. I love this so much. And again, I'm going to have to uh, touch up the boots. There is some paint chipping off the black that is absolutely upsetting me, so we're going to have to fix that. But just look at that. How that just rolls into the just beautifulness, just greatness with the contrast with the black and white. Just just good stuff. Especially with the t-shirt, man. Carl Anderson's so underrated. Jesus. So there's Machine Gun. Next up, guys, we have the Samoan Joe, and I love the yellow. I think the yellow looks fantastic. I love the uh, the yellow and black just pops more. The white elbow pad looks great. This Samoa Joe head scan is so nice. It just looks so much better than his other head scans that we've gotten in the past. Hopefully the True Effects and Mattel continue to get better and better every single time that we get a new head scan of anybody. That's I, I think that should be their goal. Anytime you know, you release something, you should do it better the next time. Like my pick feds, I, I feel like every show I, I try to take it a step further and get a little bit better. Um, so uh, that that is what I should you should take to everything in life. You should every single time you do something, get better and better each time you do it. Correct the mistakes you made, fix it, improve it, tweak it, get it better and be better. And that's what we did with the Samoa Joe. Just looks great looks just fantastic. So there's Samoan Joseph and Carl Anderson. And finally, guys, we have the Triple H, and I guess it doesn't really sit too low. I thought it would sit too low, but this figure has a weird neck peg and torso and stuff. So I think Triple H is looking good. I love the bearded head scan. He just looks so menacing. Um, it's crazy. You, you thought when he had his handlebar mustache and his long hair back in the day, you were like, God, he looks like a badass. Now he even looks more badass, even though he's older and wiser and more demented in his suit, man. He just looks so sick AF. He had if he had a sledgehammer, man, he would look even better. But Triple H looks fantastic. I'm happy with all these swaps. Again, oh, we gotta get Marty in here. Let's get Marty in here to go along with our uh, to go along with the rest of our figures. So there he is. You got Marty. And, God, I love that Marty, man. I would love to know your thoughts on everything that we've done here today, guys. Not only the Marty that you guys didn't see get made today, but you guys saw the, the result of. Just so beautiful, man. The white and black is so contrasting. The white and black looks great on Carl. Triple H's beard. Samoa Joe. 
Great stuff. But that pretty much does it for today's episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, episode number 23, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the surgery, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday morning slash evening or whenever the hell you're watching this video. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.